Mist du auch? If you've ever analyzed samples that contain particles by ion chromatography, you're probably familiar with this and this. Manual filtration is an important cost and time factor for laboratories and causes huge amounts of waste. Today I'll show you how to solve these problems using ultrafiltration. Hi, my name is Katinka Ruth. I'm an application specialist for ion chromatography at Metrum. Samples need to be filtered to protect the IC system and the analytical column in particular because many samples, even water samples, contain particle contamination. But manual filtration means a lot of work as well as high costs for single-use filters, additional vials and disposable syringes. It also generates a lot of waste. With Metrum IC, there's an alternative that saves time and costs and also reduces the burden on the environment, inline ultrafiltration. From the sample processor, the sample automatically passes the ultrafiltration cell before being injected onto the column. When the sample flows past the filtration membrane, a part of it is filtered. After the filtration, the membrane is flushed from both sides so that no filter cake is formed and the membrane can be reused. Inline ultrafiltration has many advantages compared to manual filtration. Filtering a sample manually takes about three minutes. For 100 samples, that's already a half day of work. Inline ultrafiltration runs while the previous sample is being analyzed, so not only does it save manpower, it also increases sample throughput. The only consumable in inline ultrafiltration is the filter membrane, compared to syringes, syringe filters and vials which are required in manual filtration. This results in significant reduction of waste and, of course, the cost for single-use materials. For typical environmental water samples, a filter membrane lasts about 100 injections before it needs to be exchanged. This results in cost savings around 95%. The low detection limits achieved comply with standards such as EPA 300.1 A and B, for example. Of course, inline ultrafiltration can be combined with other sample preparation techniques, for example with inline dilution or with partial loop injection. This allows you to configure a fully automated system according to your needs. You can find more information on inline sample preparation at www.metrom.com slash misp. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to share it.